All right, what's up everyone? Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the UI library. If they want. I'm not entirely sure actually what they call this, um, that I use in pretty much all of my projects. It's called Shad CN View, um, not to be confused with Shad CN, uh, which is actually more on the React side. This is um, kind of, I believe, like a near one-to-one -one, uh, translation of that component library. And so here's just a quick um, kind of examples, I suppose. So here, for example, is like a mail client. And this entire thing is built using components that are provided. Um, there's another like dashboard, you get some um, like data examples, things of that nature, cards, etc. cetera, um, as well as this huge thing of client uh, components. And so why would you want to use something like this over um, like Bootstrap? Um, they actually provide all of the code for each of these components. So if you can see here, they're actually you're actually importing from your own local components directory all of these drawer components, um, and so that's really nice and it makes tinkering and altering some of the UI elements or whatever you need to customize uh, very straightforward and very easy. You just run this command and the code will just appear in your view or next project and um, it works right out of the box. It's well documented. Um, for example, you have different props you can work with. Um, but if you want to go deeper and customize it, you can. Um, so it's much more than just like CSS or like headless. Um, you just get the whole component with all the UI integrated using Tailwind CSS. Um, and then if you want to dig deeper, you can. Um, so anyways, I'm going to show you how I use this in my Nux applications um, just from the very beginning. So let me go over to my terminal and I'm going to start with creating a Nuxt application, and we'll just call this uh, Nuxt Shad CN. And we'll do NPM. Um, one thing that is worth mentioning is um, this does require TypeScript and uh, Tailwind CSS. I believe Nuxt brings TypeScript in by default. Um, but if you have some bat, if you do tinker around and you actually strip out the TypeScript, uh, this package might not work for you. All right, I'll see you when this is finished installing. All right, so it is finished installing. Um, there's a few more uh, dependencies that we have to do. So we're going to do Nuxt.js Tailwind CSS. Uh, oops, let's see here. Let's get my face into a better place. Uh, tail wind CSS. Um, so this is going to handle all of the tailwind CSS. Um, not really going to go into what tailwind is, but it's amazing. Um, and then we're going to do an npm install d shad cn next. So there is a dependency, uh, but this is just a development dependency. I think it kind of helps with like deeper configuration if you need to. Great, so that's everything in terms of, oh, wait a second, that's not what we want. So we want to go to shad, uh, next shad, and open that in your ID. Um, so here we are, nice and simple um, next project. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Move some UI stuff around. Um, there we go. Okay, and so we need to first configure our Nux config. And this is just to add in our Tailwind CSS as well as the Shad CN modules. Okay, and now, last step, we gotta do a npx Shad CN view latest init. Um, and so this is an additional like CLI step to help configure our application. I believe this is, um, would you like to use TypeScript? Yes. Um, which framework? View. Uh, I just go with default. 
plate um, in terms of my CSS file. I don't even have a CSS file. Uh, so we'll just go with the default. Would you like to use CSS as variable? Sure. Where's your tailwind config? Uh, I actually don't have it. Let's just go with all the defaults. Sure. Um, yeah. Great. So yeah, that's uh, what I was hoping. It actually wrote out all of the defaults. So now I have a Tailwind CSS um, file and it has all of the ShadCN variables. Um, there's also this utils function it uses throughout some of these components. Um, and it also wrote, wrote to a Tailwind config file. Um, just a handful of Tailwind. Um, and I believe that's it. So let's just go ahead and let's go to our app. And I'm going to delete this and run my dev server. Okay. Let's click into that and I'll bring it down. Oops. Great. So that's all we have. Blank page. I'll just say hi. Just so you can see, it's legit. And now, so one of, uh, let's, we can just go ahead and add a button. So if I go ahead and say NPX Shad CN latest button, um, it just gives me a little done. And if I look at my file system, I now have this button component. And there's a lot going on here frankly, um, but I think this is like a good learning opportunity to see well-written view. Um, the maintainer of this does a great job. Um, but as you can see, there's a handful of variants. These are the main props. We have variant, size, and class. Um, so if we want to go ahead, we can just use this uh, button and say, hey, YouTube. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Well, it doesn't like it. Oh, interesting. Okay, so if you do see this error, um, fail to resolve, this is actually the TypeScript related error. Um, I thought it, I just assumed that it came with um, Nuxt, which I think it does, but anyways, we, we still, so what you need to do is uh, install TypeScript as a development dependency. Um, and this should fix it. So now if we go back on our dev server, and then let's go back to our web page, refresh, check that out. Um, let me just go ahead and put this, center this for you. So remember we have Tailwind CSS, so I can just say like, oops, um, page screen, list screen. Now we pay YouTube. Uh, pretty nice. Um, but what about something a little more flashy? Let's try the drawer component. So we're going to go back and use this command. It's the same, basically the same thing. You're just going to do this npx chat cn view and then the name of the component. Here I'm going to go for the drawer component because it looks it looks cool. Um, and so here again we have. All of the code, if you want to dig through it, if you want to tweak it, you're more than able to. Um, as you can see, this is actually, the majority is coming from Ball. Um, again, another UI component from the React world that's just conveniently in the view world too. Um, so let's go ahead and use this. So I'm going to actually, um, so, Remember here is where I see the, the drawer component um, when I click it. So what you can do, what I tend to do is I just go to the code tab and I'm just going to copy all of this. Let's copy it, go back to our code and I'm going to re replace this and save. Um, let's see, what is this viz stacked bar? Is that another one? you know, viz view. 
Uh, I'm just going to delete that. Probably. Or let's comment it out for now. Okay, and let's see how does that look. Open drawer, boom, opens. Counter's working, submission, no, but that's working. Um, and let's see, I, this should just all work on a mobile device as well. Um, so if we open the drawer, uh, sorry, let's try iPhone 12. There we go. Um, I'm sure that's pretty small for you, but it works. Just know that. <laughs> um, all right, cool. Anyways, I know this is going a little long, um, but I just wanted to show you, uh, yeah, Shad CN View. Um, again, big fan. I think some of these components are very impressive, very modern in terms of like the web design world right now. Um, and I think it's underestimated how powerful like being able to see the source and tweak it to your needs can be. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed and um, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.